Hey everybody, this is Keith from Let Me Try To Fix It 5000. I bought a new radio for my Lotus. It is different. I'm gonna put it in and I want you guys' opinion on it. And we're gonna put it in today. So this is the radio that I bought. This is an Alpine ILX F259. It is Alpine's, I think they're called Halo 9 radios. Anyway, it's uh, it's got a big 9-inch display on it. I thought it would be really cool because it would give me an opportunity to have a backup camera on the car, have my Bluetooth for my telephone connect to the car, and uh, give me just some modern conveniences that the original radio doesn't provide. Anyway, we're going to put that in. I really think that this is probably the original radio that came with this car. It's got a really small Lotus emblem on the tape deck door. It also is old school and is code protected. I do have the code wrote down for this radio. It does work. I'm not selling it, um, but I did want to share it. I thought this was kind of cool. I've seen a bunch of different radios and Lotuses, and I've seen a bunch of stuff that people say is original. I straight up think this is uh, the original radio from 1989. Very cool. I saw the connector on the back of this radio and the last thing I want to do when I install this new radio is I don't want to damage the female connection that goes from the car to this in case somebody decides they want to put the original radio back in the car. What I've found is I can take these splices like this and I did have to uh, grind the edge of it on both sides just a little bit but by doing that I'm able to slide them right in and make a pretty good connection. I think if I do this and make a harness from this, I think this will totally work. Okay, so this is the radio that I got installed in the car, and uh, let's check it out. So it comes up with this big Alpine logo, which I think there's a way that I can get this to change and actually say Lotus. Uh, I was able to figure that out for the home screen on the radio, and as you can see, it says Lotus right here in the middle of the screen. 
but it's big. I mean, this is uh, this is nine inch screen. It's it's massive. I am digging it though. I I do like that the screen is so big. I can put the car in reverse, and I have my backup camera. Very tickled with that. I think that's really good. Also, it gives me connection to my phone, which was kind of neat. And the the screen seems pretty responsive. Definitely digging that as well. Building apps, but the main thing I wanted it for is for the Bluetooth connection and the apps from my telephone. So I'm totally digging that. If you're wondering about the distance I have when I shift gears, it is close. I'll, I'll try to put the it here so you can see but this is literally what i've got and my, my hand does hit i mean and like i said the jury is out i'd really like the radio i think it definitely gives the car a little bit of modern use but i, I do know that that is kind of tied in kind of in the way and there's enough slop in the shifter that yeah it does make contact when i go forward but it's right at it second gear third fourth fifth and i'm right here at it it's not a major inconvenience. If this car was brand new and I was some yuppie driving this thing, I would imagine I'd be on the highway driving like a lunatic and, and shifting hard and needing to be, you know, hand on top, just back and forth going real good. But I, I baby this thing first, second. I can push it forward like that and not even hit it. I'm okay with that. But yes, the distance to the shift is right there at it. I have hit the, the button actually right now for the for mute so that's definitely possible <laughs> it doesn't hinder the controls for the climate control so that's definitely a plus that would have been a deal breaker obviously it's sticking out this much definitely it didn't it didn't really bother me too bad but i did want to share that in case any of you decide to go this route with this ginormous radio and that is my backup camera uh, you can see it up there these are pretty cheap this was on amazon for all of about ten dollars Pretty easy to run. I did uh, run it through behind the license plate and I ended up caulking the hole. The radio wasn't that hard to put in. Uh, it does fit into a single den slot. That's, that's it from the backside. That's what you're seeing. I did run a USB from the radio to the glove box and then from the glove box, I've got it kind of somewhat hidden in the center console, then just running down here to, to the connection here. Um, completely removable. I, I did want it where if somebody didn't like it or if, uh, if it bothered me too bad that it could at least be removed without having anything damaged. I'm, I'm digging it so far. It definitely is, is nice. It, I like being able to connect my phone and listen to my music, which is really good. It also reads text messages to me. So if I'm driving and get a message, I, I don't have to take my hands off the wheel. Probably the next thing I do after this might be replace the original speakers they they've seen better days they don't sound too terribly bad but they could definitely use some work another future project that i have on the radar is replacing this uh, somewhere along the lines the original speedometer has been replaced with this uh, autometer gauge i did buy a lotus speedometer off of facebook on a lotus forum and i just hadn't had opportunity to put that in and looking at it i think it's going to be a Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, I want your opinion. I want to know what you guys think about that radio. Is it too big? Is it too much? Should the original one stay in? I just want you guys' opinion on this to, to get some feedback. I've got some other projects i got to do with this car. If you'd like to follow along and see what I do next, please click that subscribe button and make sure you follow. Anyway, uh, please subscribe. I try to build my channel. Every little bit counts. So thank you very much, and I look forward to having you around for the next video.